Brittany, good to have you with us. Uh, you went through 146 Manitoba lawsuits. Can you tell us what they were about? Yeah, so I I requested all the civil lawsuits filed against the Catholic order known as the Oblates of Mary Immaculate. They ran eight of the residential schools in the province of Manitoba. And so I spent the summer going through, uh, court, going through the documents at the courthouse here in Winnipeg, uh, reading through case after case. And what I found was nothing short of horrific. Um, nearly every single lawsuit named an alleged abuser. Um, there's a total of 82 oblate priests and nuns whose name uh, appeared as a perpetrator. What well, can you tell us uh, about the people who were named in the lawsuits? So it was everyone named from the priests, the nuns, uh, the school supervisors, the teachers, and even a bishop was named. And many names came up multiple times in separate lawsuits over the decades, uh, including Father Plamondon, who was named in 32 individual lawsuits. Uh, as well as Father Arthur Massé, who was recently charged with indecent assault at uh, the Fort Alexander Residential School. Uh, he appeared in five separate lawsuits. So the court documents really provided a lot of information about the residential school experience. Indeed. Uh, Brittany, what are survivors saying about this? Well, in the lawsuits, uh, survivors stated that they had notified authorities of the alleged abuses numerous times, but as we know, no charges were ever filed. Um, so many of the, the many of the survivors that I've spoken with, uh, they say that they wish that there would have been more accountability for the individuals who uh, they allege abused them at residential schools. Well, Brittany, important work. Uh, looking forward to the episode. Thanks for taking some time to talk to us about it. Thanks, Dennis.